What's up everybody, Fravis here with another episode of Magic Duel's Origins, and we are going to play Madlands against uh, a random opponent today, which is uh, quite a leap uh, a ways from what we're, we're normally doing, uh, and that's a lie, because um, I'm lying. <clears throat> really excited for uh, Battle of Zendikar to come out, that's coming out in like a couple of weeks, a few weeks, real soon. And man, I mean, I think I said earlier, I, I did order, I, I did do a little pre-order. And I can't wait to draft. Drafting is probably my favorite uh, format of this game. Sorry, I'm choosing. I'm chewing on ice right now. I'm. Uh, I. I mean, I started the recording, and then I have like a little tray of ice. And I was like, "Hey, you know what? Let's eat some of that." And uh, and I did. And that's keepable. I could use another red, but it's okay. I just need one more red. Uh, and I'm on the play. Holy shit. Yeah, this is this is great. <clears throat> I'm ramping up, baby. I did do a little change since uh, last time you saw... Ooh, ooh, my mic isn't quite facing me. There we go. Uh, I did do a little change since the last time you guys uh, saw me play this deck. It was Evolving Wilds. I added it. I, I cut out a couple... Uh, I cut out a couple of basic lands, and I threw in uh, four Evolving Wilds, and I did that because... They synergize real nice with uh, Zenikar Royal. Because that'll be two lands that technically come in on a turn, even though I only gain the benefit of one. Ooh, triple colors. Very nice. All right, man. By the way, I, I, I missed your rank and your name, and I missed I missed everything about you. You are... Kyokuto. Kyokuto. Sorry, man. <clears throat> All the love for the Japanese. 100%. Uh, Evo Wilds. Why, why would you tap like that, man? No, you leave a green open so I can get a new fucking creature, you son of a bitch. Uh, what was his color? Green, black, and blue? I think it was black, right? Yeah, it was. Okay. <clears throat> and I didn't even catch your rank. 36. So you're technically above me, even though... Well, you are above me. Who am I kidding? I, I drop a lot of games when you guys aren't watching, honestly. I uh, I get in there and, like, the first, I'd say, two games that I play, like, when I when I decide to record, are just... I, I don't even know how to explain this. 110% disaster. <laughs> and I don't... I don't... Alright, we're getting rid of uh, his untapped land there. Or maybe I should go for the blue. He only had one instance of blue left. Maybe I should have hit that island instead. I don't know. I did this. How about that? Is that better? Of course, my Evolving Wilds isn't up anymore, but I have a ton of land. Oh, no! Not Evolving Wilds. What am I talking about? Um, uh, Evolutionary Leap isn't up anymore, so I couldn't get the benefit of that. I mean, I do have an Outland Colossus, but that's all I have. Outland Colossus with the mana to play... Uh, Chandra's Ignition, I think, might be okay for me. Well, let's hope he doesn't have any real removal. Uh, he's only got four lands, assuming if he has a land in hand. And he's got six cards, no, seven cards now. So I would assume one of them is a land. So he's probably got four lands. Uh, I don't think there's any real removal that I have to worry about in these colors. There's Bounce, with, um... Dismissal or dispersal or whatever the hell. But is there anything else I have to worry about? I don't think so. Flesh bag isn't the biggest deal, and I'm kind of glad. Uh, I'm kind of kind of glad that I didn't have the mana for evolutionary leap because I would have leapt the uh, wall, which would have fucked this up. <laughs> it would have fucked this up big time. Okay, well we're definitely clearing his board, and then we're gonna have a big fat twelve twelve. Yup. That's that's a bad combo. That's bad for you, for you, man. I'm sorry. Kyotoko, Elricosto, Elricosto, eighteen thirty-five. All right, man. That's a big fucking creature you can't deal with right now. Uh, you might be able to deal with it. I don't know. Not even. I mean, well beyond language. So four lands. Uh, I don't think there's any removal I have to worry about. That's definitely not it. Uh, that is a chump blocker, though, and I have no way to deal with that. I, I am live to another Chantra's Ignition or another um, Rogue's Passage. Uh, that is neither of them. Uh, so I guess I'll just swing in and he'll chump. I mean, what choice do I have, really? 
<laughs> but he knows I'm running Chandra's Ignition, so he knows that at any time I could top deck a card I need to win. Uh, and I am pretty close, honestly. It, it, a lot of anything can happen right now. Uh, I'm going to go with the Forest right now. I'm going to save these. Oh, well, you know, I guess I could thin out my deck. I want to save him for the Royal. Come on. Zendikar's Royal. Then you get like two two twos with one. Oh, man. All right, let's 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 play that see what we get. Oh, wait, wait. He's he's out. Well, am I wasting his time? I hope not. Let's not waste his time. I, I didn't... All right, let, let, let's see what he does here. I don't know. Is he not stopping it? Nope. All right. Nice. Here I am. Fucking around with shit. <clears throat> he had nothing down there. Wow, no creatures? Uh, wonder what he had. Obviously some kind of a control deck. Uh, and he just didn't have... Uh, the things in the in the three drop he did, just didn't have enough three drops I guess or two drops really you want a lot of two drops two drops are really really important in uh, especially in limited but probably in constructed too well I don't know would you consider this limited or constructed this is almost like sealed if you really think about it like magic duels origins this feels more like sealed honestly because you you are playing from a limited set. But, I mean, at the same time, you go up to 60 cards. Ah, I don't know. Whatever. Fuck it. It's all... It's, it's its own format, really. Really? I don't even know what I'm talking about. It's its own format. Uh, Kikias. Kikias 90. So, I'm guessing, what, five years younger than me? Ooh, this is interesting. Um... Uh, I don't really like it. I'm gonna go back in there. This is strictly worse. Oh, my God. Oh my god! Why did this happen? Was this punishment for not keeping the first one? Really? Why? Holy crap! It's, it's, it, did you see how many one-landers I picked after that? I can't keep any one-landers. Like, alright, fine. Two Rogue's Passages and one Evolving Wild, so I would have had one color. Alright, it would have been three... Oh god, it, it, it's a fucked up... <sighs> okay, you know, I did have Ramp in that first hand. I don't know, man. It's so fucking awkward. You know, it was such a weird one. I had two rogues passages. It's like, they don't, like, sink in any way. It's just... Oh, man. I don't know, you guys. Maybe that was a fuck-up. Because now, now I'm completely fucked. Now I have zero plays. Now I'm literally top-decking all the way. I'm just... I, I kind of just want to bounce out, honestly. I kind of don't even want to play this. Just take the loss. God damn, man. That has never happened to me before. I swear. So awkward. If I get one more land of any color, I'll be okay. Honestly, just one more land, because that could hold me up for a little while. I, I mean, I could ramp up. I'll get a Zendikar out. Probably Zendikar first, then ramp. I don't know. I kind of want to get rid of that white mana. Not anymore. Oh, yeah. Now I definitely want to get rid of that white mana. Definitely 100% want to get rid of that white mana. Uh, please be a land. I, I could really, really use a land. Thank you. Thank you. I know that was a little ironic, but... Alright, definitely gotta get that white out of there. Otherwise, I'm gonna be dealing with tappity taps all day long. And I don't want to deal with tappity taps. It's a real fucking pain in the ass. Uh, swing in, he'll take it, and then swing to me for four, so that's no fun. Might as well uh, prevent the four from coming in. And there's another white. Son of a bitch. God damn it. All right. I mean, whatever. Can I can I can I beg to the the land gods one more time and and get another one into the maw of hell? That'd be nice. Maybe. I don't know. We're both top decking perfectly. I hope he top decked that fucking land. That's not good enough. But actually, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Um. Yeah. I'll play it. Over the Zendikar Incarnate? Yeah, because Zendikar, eh, he's d definitely a bomb. Uh, now he can only tap one of these guys. So he can... Oh, it doesn't matter. Because he has Renown, too. On top of all that other bullshit that he has. I forgot that there's also Renown. Oh, boy. I'm so fucked. <laughs> well, tap one down. Take it out. Oh, man. By the way, why would you play that pre-combat? Ah, uh, unless you, you... I mean, because he just drew that. Maybe that's why. Uh, now he can tap them both down. Well, no, he can't. He can only tap one of them down still. 
which I will obviously block, and I mean, what choice do I have? I have to, uh, I, I can send it to his face, but that's stupid. Oh boy, and he can scry for two. So he's the, um, the shitty black-white auras. Azor, no, it's not, Orzov, Orzov. Orzov auras. Uh, got it. I need that land. I need it like yesterday. I need it yesterday. That's okay. That's not the worst. Try to get that shit in play. Okay, now I can actually kill that thing. So, really, what I would like, he can tap down my entire field, but it would eat up a lot of his mana, so I'm gonna let him. Um, if he wants to chew up his mana for this, that's fine. He can no longer do it. Now I have a fucking flying guy that I have to worry about. Uh, I still think the priority is the, uh, the irregulars. Well, that's silly, dude. Why, why would you want me to tap like that? Like, you want the least useful creature on the field. Right? Like, think about this. Come on, man. He's not thinking about it. Because he's not a very good player. But, I mean, who? He's better than me because he's going to win, right? So, and that's how it fucking works. Now I'm just eating up these lands, huh? <laughs> this is great. This is fucking great. Uh, why don't you leave... Oh, I can't because I need two red open. Shit. Um... Huh. Huh, huh, huh. I can't have him tap shit down anymore. Uh, blue, yeah, that's how I'm gonna play it. And then I'll just drop this shit. Not much point here, he'll just block with a 5-5, five, five, and then I'll have to shoot him in the face with it. So that's that. I imagine he swings all in here. Uh, do I block the 2-2? Two, two? It's an additional 2 damage. Let's see, I'm going down to 11. Yeah, I'll block it. It's a significant amount of, an amount of life. And then I'll send that shit to his face. Obviously. I want that thing alive. It's doing work for me. <laughs> of course, I'm getting smacked. I mean, this isn't that good of a deck. Honestly, it really isn't that good, but I mean, I'm, I may, maybe I'm just fucking everything up. Uh, yeah, I definitely want this out. And I wouldn't mind... I mean, if I have to tap out, I have to tap out, you know? Uh, let's just get rid of all his white. Let's just fuck that all up. Bye bye Fine, I'm tapped out, you can see it, I don't care. Uh, so let's see, what's the deal here? He hits... Alright, so he'll, um... 9, 10, 11, he's still down to 1, and he can gain life, son of a bitch. I mean, I, I mean, I'm dead. Yep, that's exactly game. GG, bro. Um, you managed to beat me when I mulled to 5, I think. I don't know. Honestly, I guess I should have kept that first hand. Was that still my loss? I don't know. I don't know. I, but it, it was such an awkward, hideous hand. And I do fucking hate mulliganing, even though I get a free one here. I figured, like, you know, fuck it, a free free mulligan. What's wrong with that? But, uh, obviously, you should know what's wrong with that. What's wrong with that is, um... I lose. <laughs> it, it means I'm more likely to mulligan into one-landers, which is make, it makes no sense. I mean, I'm running 24 lands in here, right? Or is it 25? I don't know. It's a land-based deck with a... I, no, I think I run 24, but I have, like, so much goddamn ramp. I've got the Gate Creepers, I've got the Nissa's Pilgrimage things, I've got just all the decent ramp. So it makes, it, it just hurts. Sometimes you run into those bad beats, and that's how it works. That's how life is, you know? 90% luck, 10% skill. That's how it is, man. I'm not even being sarcastic. Okay, let's, uh, let's try to get into another one. Let's put that sad, sad moment out of our, our minds. And we'll go into something a little happier uh, in the future, the, the the hopeful future, where we can have all the hope we want and all the unable to join games that we can stomach. Because um, if you guys don't know yet, um, unable to join games is probably 
the best part of this game. Uh, I would like to eat more ice, so I'm going to actually apologize to you right now. Oh, while well, I eat it. Wow, look at the nail on that bitch. Holy crap. That fingernail. Jesus. I didn't realize how long that was. Is she actually looking at herself? or is she? I mean, she's looking at her mirror or she's looking at us, right? It's kind of weird. Kind of weird. Alrighty. Well, you know how I feel about one-landers. So, alright. This is kind of a mess, but I can live with it. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna put down the evolving wilds. Uh, I'm gonna save. I'm gonna save those for royals. I mean, I. How many royals do we have? Like two, three. I think we have three, right? And maybe it's not worth keeping them in my hand. Maybe I should just drop them. But I have three lands that gets me into the pilgrimage. And if I get one more, if I get one more, then I can acid moss instantly. I don't know. I feel like this is okay. I feel like hanging on to this Evolving Wilds in this situation isn't isn't so bad. Uh, okay, we are doing... Um, is it Artifact? Or at least this person's iteration of it. 100% uh, chance that he's running Esperzoa because he thinks that that's a good... A good combo. Uh, I, would, I, I would hope that I can educate this individual in the, uh, the audacity of that, of that combination. And and hopefully rectify his his misgivings. <clears throat> All right, let's hope he doesn't play anything this turn. Uh, let's just let's just pass just pass, man. I mean, he has a play. It's paused on his on his first main phase, so he definitely has something he can do. And it's not just his alchemist vial because there's no creatures, uh, there's no legal targets for that. Uh, that is okay with me. 100% okay with me. I don't mind that at all. Uh, I, it makes me kind of want to put down Reclamation Sages, or at least the big ones, the 4-4 Reclamation Sages. I don't really know what they're they're actually called. Uh, but I'm definitely going to be popping his, uh, his lands here. Grabbing some deliciousness on my end, and dropping some more deliciousness over here. So now he's kind of stuckles. Uh, no Pia and Karen for you, my friend. I'm sorry. Uh, unless you can land and uh, gear report gear guild mage or gear crafter, excuse me, or the uh, one that gives haste to everybody. I forgot what her name is. Uh, two three swinging in, not the biggest deal. I can definitely outrun that. Um, Chandra's ignition gonna be excellent in this in this matchup. I almost don't want to destroy his lands just so I can just so I can smack him around with that. But <laughs> whatever. Next next. Uh, Next play, I'm, I don't know, it's either going to be Zendikar or Into the Maw of Hell. I'm kind of leaning into into the Maw of Hell because I, he's, I'm seeing that one red and I kind of want to pop it. <laughs> I want to shit on him real bad. Uh, that's actually what I'm going to do. Fuck that. Because this is, yeah, this is perfect. Who am I kidding? This is exactly what I want to happen. And uh, now, now you're fucked, bro. Now you're all fucked up. Now, I mean, look at all the lands I have. Look at all the lands he has. Sadness. And no red. No red. So half his deck, assuming, as far as I'm aware, half of his deck is a bunch of poos. Uh, I'm going to save Zendikar Incarnate, because if he has removal of any kind... Um, this could be countered. No, it didn't get countered. Uh, if he has removal of any kind... I'd rather have it on the Colossus than the Incarnate. And here's my thinking, because my Incarnate can potentially come down and get Chandra's Ignition immediately. I mean, I only need nine land for that. And how much do I have right now? I have uh, five, six, seven, eight. All right, with the Evolving, if I, if, yeah. So this, see, this is exactly what I'm also talking about. Any removal I'd rather have on the Colossus then uh, actually that particular removal I wouldn't mind on the Zenikar Incarnate. So if he has another one of those, I'm also I'm also okay with that. I am also okay with that. In fact, I can still Chandra's Ignition even now, but I'm definitely going to save that because that's a great card. Uh, boy. I guess I have to drop my Evolving Wilds now. Makes me sad. Uh, but I can do this. Can do this. And you know what? Fuck it. I might as well do this now. Uh, grab a red. I think I'm lowest on red. There, there's really not much reason to do this now. I mean, I have all the land open I need, so... Fuck it. <clears throat> he finally got his red, so now real plays can happen. 
Uh, Esperzoa, I guess, is a is a possibility, but that's going to be eating up <laughs> literally everything he has. Uh, he can crack that. Claustrophobia on my Zendikar is a okay with me, honestly. Uh, I'm still swinging in for one uh, because that's that that's literally a free ten damage to the board whenever the fuck I want it, unless he can counter it, I guess. But I don't know if he would run counters. I mean, honestly, this isn't really the deck that you'd run. Too hot out, actually. That is nice. Juniper Gear Crafter. That's a creature. That's a creature. Thinking of Chandra's ignition, getting fresh out the kitchen. I don't know how the lyrics go. Just hitting you for one. Do Evolving Wilds too? I might as well, right? No big deal. No biggie tiggies. Get a mountain down. Works for me. No Chandra's ignition. Yeah, there's no reason to do that. I'm working my way up there. He can have a nice big fat board, this will wipe the entire field, and then I can do 11 damage plus 2 from my mirror to him. So this is, I mean, this is just massive. Massive to the guy. And if he chooses to run that sort of uh, removal in this deck, that's, you know, that's poops. That's poops for him. I would I would honestly run Disperse. I think Disperse is a better, uh, better form of removal. Or even the one... The blue one where everybody has to pick shit up, but I mean, actually, that's not that good because in a because you lose all your tokens like every time, so that's poops actually. <laughs> so I'm doing 13 damage to him if I Chandra's right now. Let's see what I get. Let's see what I get. Let's see how we feel. What happens? Uh, this works for me very well, actually. Super duper well. Get my Chandra's ignition, stepping right out of the kitchen. I can't sing, man. <laughs> I don't know it. I don't know it. It's all poo. Uh. Pass, I guess. I'm getting there. I just need to get him down to 13. I think I'm going to evolve my Colossus. What's it actually called? Something Colossus? No, not you. Not you. Not you. Wow, you run Chandra in this deck? Outland Colossus. Chandra in this deck is kind of wonky. Kind of wonky. I think I might actually Ignition this turn. Just to get rid of the Chandra and all his, uh... All his poo. <laughs> um... No, I'm okay. I'll take it. I'll take it. It's all good. I don't mind. I don't mind. I don't mind. Whoops. I would like to leap uh, the Visionary, because I'm not going to be swinging with the Visionary anyway. Uh, that's fine. And I will also leap my Colossus. To get something interesting back out. Okay. Interesting choice. Let's hope I get a land. That is not a land. Hmm. 
13, 14, 15, 16. Almost there. He's probably not going to swing for that. That would be sillies. I blocked that. I mean, I'm swinging. He's not blocking, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> and the Perilous Mirror is going to come down. So that's an extra 2 damage to his face. I could Nissa. Oh, I could Nissa. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Is that game? I think that might be it. Oh, I think that's game, you guys. Oh, I think that's game! I think that's all I needed. Let's give it a shot. Boosh! Boosh! <laughs> and that is it, son. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm hitting you, bro. Boosh! That's game. GG, friend. Good play, good try, good everything you've done, but in the end, it didn't matter. I gotcha. Yeah, that's that's fine by me. I'm okay with that. <laughs> I am A-OK. -okay. And I think he knew that I had it, right? That was my second... Uh, was this my second? I don't remember. I don't know if that was my second or first challenge ignition, but I'm very happy that it finally finished. Um, and that should be it. That's three games, right? Back to 34. <laughs> I'll get up there eventually. I mean, I've already been to 40, but I'll get back to 40 uh, as soon as I actually start taking this game seriously. Uh, thank you for watching, everybody. Uh, have fun out there in uh, the world of magic, and I will keep you updated with anything, if anything interesting happens, which, of course, as you know, in this world, nothing ever happens that's interesting. Uh, I lie to you a lot. Uh, that's a complete lie. So, love you guys, and I will see you next time.